Hey everyone, so I'm back with another unboxing video and this one is one I'm very excited about. As you can tell from the thumbnail and title, my 2020 Halloween Pokemon items have finally come in. Every year I buy at least one thing from their Halloween release as it's honestly the best time to get an item that's themed around one of my favorite boys which are Gengar and Mimikyu, and of course this year was no exception. I only purchased two things this year as they were a little pricey, but I'm very excited to share them with you. So with that said, let's take a look at what I got. So up first is this super adorable Morpeko plushie. When Morpeko was first announced, I really loved the idea of a Pokemon with two forms depending on their hunger. It was such a clever idea to use two really cute designs for one Pokemon. This plush features normal Morpeko, but he's dressed up like the best purple boy, Gengar. The costume is so adorable with the overall hood, cape, and glove style, but honestly pairing Gengar's normal features with this red plaid lining was such a great idea and would be so fun to carry over into a cosplay of some sort. I love the really bold red stitching and just the overall construction is super, super cute. Now the second item I got is honestly super exciting. I was really just expecting plush and enamel pins to be my purchase this year like every other year, but when I saw these amazing Pokemon Village Halloween houses, I had to get at least one. There were four different designs featuring all kinds of different Pokemon, but of course I had to go with Gengar's house. If they had been a little less expensive, I would have also purchased Mimikyu's costume shop, but honestly the price is totally justified in the quality and construction of these decorative pieces. Looking at this house up close, there are so many cute little Pokemon and fun things to see. Taking the description straight from the Pokemon Center website, it says, Do you have what it takes to make it through Gengar's haunted house? Sobble, dressed as Greninja, tried its best, but the little Pokemon's not feeling all that brave right now. Maybe next time. Meanwhile, Duskull, Haunter, Shupit, and Murkrow are all on standby to help Gengar put on a frightful show for its guests. The idea behind all of these Pokemon Village homes are so clever and fun, and they all pair up to make such a cute scene. If I'd had the space and funds, I definitely would have purchased all four of them to keep on display all year round. And there you have my 2020 Halloween Pokemon Center haul. Let me know down in the comments if you purchased anything from this year's launch or what your favorite item from this year was. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a happy and safe spooky season and I will see you in the next one.